I want to address two aspects of the original motion which this amendment changes. The first is the, extent, is the extension of the HMO definition to cover three people in two different households. And the second is the imposition of a 25% per street and per 200 metres of the street quota or cap. It, it's important to note that neither of these target road landlords or problem neighbours, both of which are serious problems. They target everybody in shared housing, as well as quite a number of people who might be surprised to discover that opposition members regard them as living in shared housing homes and don't. That we have a large number of shared houses in Cambridge is symptomatic of the housing shortage we have in the city. Imposing a quota will exacerbate the situation. It will constrain supply and force up prices. Many key workers in Cambridge rely on shared housing. Nurses, shop workers, young professionals and so on. Restricting the supply of such housing punishes these people, increases the pressure on them to leave the city and commute in. Unamend unamended, these proposals would push large areas of Cambridge towards the enclave of those rich enough to afford to buy or rent these properties in their entirety. That would be a retrograde step for social economic equality in the city. Turning to the definition proposed, of, proposed in the original motion, three people in two households. We've already heard from uh, Public Questions Power, and I do thank her for a question, a number of examples of people who might be unfairly targeted by this unamended motion. Shortly after leaving the university, myself and my then girlfriend, and she's now my second partner, rented a house with another couple with whom we were at university together a couple of years earlier. As a recent graduate, I couldn't afford somewhere myself, and I could work to pay for the others. Proving their resources seemed sensible, this motion, unamended, would severely restrict such a practice. <laughs> Labour was in power here back then. It was a very long time ago, and I'm glad they hadn't thought of this, because I'd probably have been forced out to the suburbs in South Cambridge, and perhaps I'd never have come back. Perhaps they wouldn't appreciate it. <laughs> No <laughs> it's not just temporary resource holding by friends which would be restricted, however. What happens when three people with different surnames are living in a single household? It's not that rare. I'm in that situation myself. Is a would-be Labour council going to turn around to them and say, sorry, the street reaches quota. You need to prove you're a single household before we let you move in. How are they going to do that exactly, Mr. Mayor? Are going to ask them how they met? What sort of a music each one likes? Are they sleeping together? How often? In imposing quotas as the mayor on how many households are allowed to live in each street, Labour would have the council prying into details of people's private lives, which are frankly none of its business. In making it harder for people with living arrangements to differ from the small C conservative nuclear family to find somewhere to live, this motion is discriminatory. I urge members to support the amendment.